Okay, so I'm back on the old Norton trailer today and uh, you've probably seen some of the previous videos where I rubbed it down and put the, uh, the primer on, which you can see there, the lovely yellowy primer. I'm now going to do top coat on here. Uh, quite like this colour actually, but the top coat is a different colour, it's more of a battleship grey. Um, but I think I need to put that on to get it right. Here's, so here's some of the cans I got. You probably saw earlier I said um, in the previous video, this is pylon paint and it's used for painting um, the pylons. And if you look on here, it's two coat vinyl top coat, grey green. You see the colour it will be, not the most pleasant of colours, but I think it's a really good strong industrial paint. Um, I just noticed these cans two different makes, there's Stokes there, and this one is Pronto Paints. I did look on their website, Pronto Paints, a while back, and uh, you could buy these cans at about 100, uh, I think if you bought 100 cans, Primer was 16.85 and top coat was 17.85, which seems quite cheap really for five litres of paint. However, you do need 100 cans at a time, which I don't think I'm going to get. Um, so there's the yellowy colour. It's come out okay. I, I've um, the finish isn't too bad. I know I just missed a bit there, which doesn't matter at the end of the world. But let's um, let's have a look inside. Oh, I got to take that bit out first. Let me just put this on the tripod and we'll get this open. Bigger than you think that door. Right, so here's the inside. Unfortunately we had a bit of rain this afternoon just before I planned to do this and look we've got pools of water in here. Uh, so I, I'm going to have to, um, I think, just paint the sides today. I might be able to brush out the water, I don't know. But um, certainly I'm going to get this bit done around here in the old grey. Quite a lot of water in here, actually. What a shame. I was hoping to get that floor done today. I don't think I've got time this afternoon for doing both. And we need to dry. Quite a lot of water, look at that. I wonder the trailer bed rusts out. That's all sat there. Oh, well, this has gone a bit concrete y. Now, this is what happens when you leave half a tin, but it's got nice thick skin on the outside. I've just got to give it a bit of a stir. I'm supposed to be using my stirring stick. I'll just. Oh. Just plonk me, um, me screwdriver in there. Wobbly, well, shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's let's give it a good stir. Give it a good stir with this bit of wood. There's a big lump. Yeah. Ugh, paint biscuit. Right, let's go painting. Heavy duty, this sure is heavy duty.
done around this side, nearly used the whole of that can. And you, this stuff is like blooming hell. It's like spreading treacle. It's so thick. Look at that. Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, so I've just opened up the um, second can of paint and I now understand why it's got an expiry date on it because that is my can of paint that's not really paint is it however we just get the old magic screwdriver again the good paint is underneath we just hold this up can you see that oozing it out of there so what I gotta do is take this ugh, ranky layer off and then I'll be able to get to the good paint. Time to get stirring, I think. So obviously, if you were painting pylons, you wouldn't want to deal with cans of paint that are like this, but for painting this, it's brilliant. I'm not worried about a few lumps on the top. There we go, good enough. Back to work. Okay, so rain stopping play today. The battery's going on here as well. It's already cut out once, but um, I've just done this bit. Uh, I'm not gonna do the floor because it's too wet now. It's just starting to rain. Uh, but I'm a bit concerned. This stuff is so thick and gooey. I don't know whether it'll give a very good finish for the outside. Looks all right on the inside, but uh, I'm wondering whether to... Okay, so yesterday rain stopped play a bit, but also my battery went flat on this camera. So. Uh, I had to stop and uh, I've had a little think overnight okay so I've been doing this stuff on the on the inside with this sort of grey camo paint that is very rough and kind of very industrial and it's going to be great for the in inside but what I've decided to do is over the top of the kind of yellowy primer you can see the colour here underneath um, I'm actually going to put some decent gloss paint some exterior metal gloss paint because um, I figure that this stuff grey won't give a very nice finish and I, you know, I want a bit of pride in the job really. I want it to make it look decent. So I've ordered some paint, a tin of, uh, just one tin of um, metal paint, cost me 45 quid for that one can. Uh, and also, 
with a bit of luck, I have actually got some brand new Norton stickers being sent to me by Norton Trailers. So I'm actually going to put new stickers on it, which is really kind of them. Um, so it will make the outside look a bit more pucker than just some farmer slap. Uh, primary, and the reason for this is that I'm doing this once and I don't want to flip in be always looking again, I wish I'd done it right, even though it's only a muck trailer. So, I'm just going to finish off the floor and then I think another day on I'll have to get the top coat on. Alright, cheers guys. Right, here goes, I've got a little bit left in the tin from yesterday. And I've got another tin I've just opened which isn't as thick as the other stuff, so that might be good because it was getting a bit of a problem putting that stuff out. Right. <coughs> Okay, so that's it, look. All the interior of this trailer is done now with this heavy duty grey paint. You can see what it's like. It's a very industrious sort of hammerite thing. It's really thick, slapping it all on. Um, but as I might have said before, it doesn't leave a great finish. It leaves a finish that's all right for industrial use. And so I'm kind of, like, if you look at there, you can sort of see a ripply effect. You can see what I mean, it's, it's not pretty. It does the job, but it's not pretty. So, so what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna paint the outside with a decent uh, metal coat. So I'm gonna put another primer on here. I'm not gonna bother filming that because it's just the same color, really. I'm gonna another primer on there, and I'm gonna scrape these old stickers off, which is quite a relief because they're a bit rubbish. I might keep that one to you send me the model number, but that one's gonna come off. So it'll have another coat of this primer on it. I think it's had two, well, one coat so far. Take those stickers off, and then we've got the top coat coming. Um, but it's certainly had enough of this gray paint on the inside, look at it. Look how thick it is on there. So that is the interior of the trailer finished.